Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 1st, 2021. Well, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. We are setting up this morning for those bulls trying to rush back in with bond yields falling. And we have some technical damage in the charts that were created last week. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, as we're preparing for today's open, we've got some technical damage that was created last week that we're going to have to address. And it's going to be an interesting morning. The bulls are really trying to show a massive push this morning in the pre-market. Now the question is going to come in, will they be able to successfully overcome the bears that are likely going to be entrenched just a little bit? on resistance levels. So let's take a look at these charts. First off, if we take a look at the Dow, notice that the Dow, depending on how you draw this, we have kind of, we, we held in there pretty good on that trend here in the Dow. And this is really one of the stronger indexes right now, um, holding in there nicely. And if we take a look at our moving averages, notice that on Friday, we ended up closing right near that 50-day moving average. Um, but this morning, we're getting this big bounce back up this morning um, as the futures just try to rush back in and um, prove that there's nothing wrong with bond yields kind of softening just a little bit this morning. Now let's take a look at what we've got to deal with. If we take a look technically in the chart, we do hold pretty well on that support level um, in that chart. But let's take note that we have a price resistance level right in this area that we're going to have to deal with. And that price resistance level could actually span a little bit of price action in here where we have a little bit of a range that will be set up in here. Now, I think probably the best opportunity for the market to recover is for the the institutions to really push hard in the Dow. If they can trigger a potential short squeeze here in the Dow, breaking us back above these resistance levels, that will certainly ease a lot of fear in the market. Um, and probably the best opportunity for them to kind of manipulate this higher. And keep a real close eye on that because I suspect that there's going to be a pretty substantial push on the Dow this morning. Now, if they can push back up through here and then prove to hold anywhere up in here with a higher low, then no harm, no foul. We're in pretty good shape and we could certainly surge higher. And with the house having passed the 1.9 stimulus, trillion dollar stimulus plan that's moved on to the Senate and uh, clearing the way for um, you know other benefits going out there. It could be an interesting um, challenge here for the bears to, to we'll see if they can really maintain um, any kind of pressure here. And I think we're gonna have to keep an eye on treasury yields to find out whether or not those bears will remain feisty or not. If those treasury yields start to pull back, and, or continue, I should say, continue to pull back because they are pulling back this morning, softening. If they continue that pullback, we could see um, we could see those bulls really uh, gain some energy. However, if those bond yields continue to press or hold up relatively high, we could see those bears be emboldened by that and really dig in and defend around these resistance levels. So stay pretty focused as we approach these resistance levels and realize that even a gap up open like this morning that could be 300 points, we could easily see those entrenched bears and that possibility of a pop and drop. Um, notice that the pre-market candle here this morning is not breaching this big black candle here on the chart, at least at the moment, not breaching the top of that. So we still run that possibility we could gap up this morning and run into some bears and see them fight to push us back down. So be careful, don't chase into this open. Let's make sure we actually see some follow through buying. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY has a bit more of a challenge, although 
the spy did do a pretty good job. Whoops, my drawing tool changed there. Give me just a second. Um, we did a pretty good job of um, recovering or or are trying to recover this morning and holding on to this overall trend and once again if we jump over here to our moving averages you'll see that on uh, Friday we closed we pushed down below that 50-day moving average temporarily but rallied back but notice that we still have some resistance here in this chart to deal with and once again SPY is going to be an interesting index to keep an eye on here this morning now technically if you draw this pretty tightly on that trend you can see that we did kind of break down that bull trend here in the chart um, depending on how you draw that now if we take a look at price resistance we have some price resistance right in here and we have certainly price resistance right in here with this big ugly black candle um, kind of in the way so the bulls are going to have some work cut out for them and i kind of doubt that the bears are going to give up easily unless those bond yields really start to fall notice that we also have a bit of a downtrend right in here so it's going to be just this accumulated area right here that's going to be really uh, interesting as we push up toward that will we have enough energy to break through that area and once again i won't rule out the possibility of a short squeeze that could push us on through and i also wouldn't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop we slam into this price resistance and see those entrenched bears pushing back down particularly if those bond yields don't continue to weaken then we have the our problem child the qqq nasdaq is probably the weakest of the indexes and we have some interesting challenges here ahead of us in the nasdaq first off we clearly broke the down or the uptrend in this chart and we have clearly established a downtrend in the uh, qqq index and if we take a look at some price resistance, we're going to have a challenge here in this chart, and, and it could be a fairly significant challenge. If we take a look across in here, we've created this price resistance level in that chart that could be rather substantial. And although we're gapping up this morning, we have kind of an accumulated resistance area right through this range right in here. And that's going to be interesting. Can we push back up through there? Is there going to be enough um, bullish action in here to push up? Now, keep in mind, the NASDAQ itself, if we continue to sell, will make it very, very difficult for the other indexes to rally. So while I do believe we need a rally, we oversold in the short term, and that rally could push us up. Let's not be... I'm ignorant of the fact that we could run into some price resistance and see those bears come back in pretty hard. So watch that closely. Be careful not to chase into the morning gap up open as we could see those bears fight back. Let's take a look at um, IWM. Now IWM continues in kind of a choppy consolidation pattern. Now we have just this little teeny tiny downtrend in here and we're holding some price support. Now overall, I think IWM has held up very, very well holding in here quite nicely. We continue to gain support in the oil sector and the financial sector stocks and that continues to hold this up. Now we did see a little bit of weakness starting to come into those on Friday and I suspect they have been pushed up so much that we could see a little bit more weakness on the way but I don't know that that's really going to set us up for a major breakdown here in IWM but watch it closely this choppy consolidation could be a little bit challenging and it will be interesting as we push back up can we actually push back through that little resistance right in there and really break down uh, or break that um, ugly bearish engulfing candle there to the bullish side. Watch for the potential attack of the bears at this resistance level up in here. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX closed on Friday 
Uh, well, it was kind of interesting, almost confused with the way we bounced around here, but obviously we're closing, we closed on Friday with a pretty substantial elevation in the VIX. And as I've said before, this first little shock wave of selling really doesn't hurt us that bad. It will be, the problem will be, if we pull back and hold a higher low, and we see those bears re-attack or come back in. If those bond yields don't continue to pull back, that could be our problem here. So watch this closely as we're trying to put on this brave face this morning. We're trying to get everyone all fired up to just buy, 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 buy this morning. But there are some questions still to be answered here. So be a little bit careful about chasing in. Not saying that you can't buy, just be a little bit careful chasing in and that possibility that those bears could be entrenched for yet another attack. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our T2122, this is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, this probably gives the best um, um, uh, view that we are short-term oversold and we need some kind of a rally. T2122, as you can see, we fell pretty hard here. What I don't like that we're starting to set up, and by the way, guys, I want to remind you, this was a very similar situation that happened in 2008 where we were kind of an all or nothing market. So we would see um, tremendous price volatility. Um, in fact, there was a 30-day period in 2008 where the mark, the Dow moved more than 500 points, either up or down, every day for 30 days. And I don't know if we're entering that kind of phase, but what we do see is kind of this all or nothing market where we rip to the downside, rip back up and rip back down. So we should make note of that, that there is incredible volatility. And as the, the Dow was trying to gap up 300 points this morning, um, clearly we have that potential that we could just rip right back up. But just be careful of that high volatility. Prices, and particularly in options, are going to be a little bit nutty this morning. So be really, really careful um, how you approach this market. This wild volatility could be very challenging, and it could stick with us for a while. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at T2101. This continues to bother me here um, in, in the market that we continue to run in this downtrending market breadth. Now, we're down here toward the bottom of the range here that we typically see in T2101. So I would suspect that we should see that market breadth increase. It'll be interesting on this buy wave to see if we really engender a lot of confidence and really see that starting to come back up. So watch that closely on T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, we do have a few things to be made aware of. And remember this being the first week of um, a new month, we also have the employment situation number coming at the end of the week. So let's take a look what we've got going here today. First off, we don't have any pre-market reports um, on the calendar, but we will see PMI and we will get the ISM and construction spending numbers coming out um, shortly after the open. So we'll want to keep an eye on those this morning. Those could potentially move the market around. I think one that might be kind of interesting is construction spending in the fact that um, lumber prices have surged so much, prices in housing has just gone through the roof. It might be an interesting thing to watch because we're starting to see those mortgage applications decline, starting to see a little bit of struggle um, on those lines. And I think there probably is a housing pullback on the way here in the market. Um, ISM, of course, will be the one that has the potential to move the market more than anything. And then let's take a look at uh, the fact that we have really a parade of Fed speakers this this week. It's going to be ridiculous. It's like they're out there every day having something to say. Um, remember that we're going to hit ADP midweek. We're going to have those jobless claims coming in um, on Thursday. And then that big employment situation number. It's fairly typical that heading into that big employment situation number, we get a little bit of softness in the market, a little bit of choppiness. So watch that close. 
let's take a peek at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have over 100 companies reporting earnings today. And um, obviously I can't cover everything that is notable here this morning in the morning prep video. So if you want to see the full list, click the link just below the title of this video. That'll take you back to that morning blog that I write and you'll see all the notables in that blog this morning. But let's cover a few that um, may be of interest. Take a look at DDD. DDD has had a remarkable rally here lately, just really shooting up. And although we've pulled back toward this earnings report, we have an interesting little pattern here. If we can hold in here and get that bullish move, we could see DDD continue to extend. So watch that close. It's going to be reporting today. We will hear from X-Ray x-ray today big bullish move going on this morning looks like they beat on their earnings report pushing up that's going to be breaking a downtrend holding on to some price support in this chart so keep a close eye on that that might be interesting after the open if we can get a rest or pullback maybe a good opportunity in that chart take a look at nio now nio will be reporting today this has been one of those hot 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 stocks highly speculative stock but still a very hot stock and watch it closely as that reports today that'll be interesting on those electric vehicle um, um, automaker um, stocks could really all respond if we get a good report out of nio take a look at nvax nvax reporting today you'll want to keep an eye on that biotech and although we're holding up in this trend we had a significant pullback here recently we're holding above some support in the chart but that downtrend right here could be a little bit of a challenge so watch that earnings report carefully um, last but not least i'm going to cover here this morning is sgms keep an eye on sgms um, gambling has been really strong here recently and with F sgms um, reporting we can see we've got this nice little consolidation in here we could see a, um, that entire sector move as a result of this earnings report today so keep a close eye on any of those gambling um, or gaming stock companies out there watch that close if that can push on out maybe a good opportunity in that chart so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a quick favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video was worthy, if it helped you in your preparation for the day, if you could also do me a favor and smash that uh, thumbs up button and give uh, leave a brief comment at any kind of brief comment helps continues to set those algorithms in in play and helps the channel to grow and i want to say thank you to everyone who does that i also want to make mention that if you want to help support the channel there is a link below the title of the video where you can buy me a coffee and those um those funds are going toward improving the channel and um, improving the equipment so if you want to support this channel that is another way that you can do that and i want to say thank you just a huge shout out to everyone who has uh, done that so far you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up now please keep in mind guys we are likely to see a very very volatile market here over the next um well the next few hours um, could be anything happen with those bulls and bears battling what i would suggest is you might want to keep an eye on both the TLT, now bonds, bonds are, uh, as you can see, this is the long bond ETF. Um, bonds have been really, really strongly sold off. Um, major problem here for the market is we've been seeing those treasury yields rise. Keep an eye on this. If those bulls are going to come in, 
um, today, we're going to want to keep an eye on these treasury yields. We need to see TLT actually starting to come up, not be moving back down like it's showing right now this morning. So keep a close eye. And another ETF is the inverse of that would be TBT to watch that closely. And you can see we had that pullback on Friday, but notice we're trying to perk back up here just a little bit this morning on TBT that could certainly affect the overall market. So keep an eye on those treasury yields. That being said, let's take a look at some stocks that are looking pretty good. You might want to take a look at GM. Now GM has had some news out today that they're coming out with their new EV vehicles, the Bolt, a um, couple different versions of it, I guess. And they're going to be priced in there around that 34,000 range. So bringing those EV prices down, it's going to be interesting to see as this electric vehicle um, competition or the race for um, the race for market share is going to be interesting over the next uh, couple of years I think and GM seems to be coming up as far as one of the main um, auto manufacturers it could be an interesting thing to keep an eye on so watch that closely if that starts perking up another chart that I think is worth keeping an eye on just based on its technical pattern here is Ford Ford's been holding up quite well holding up in this little trend notice that we popped through my alert here on that chart and just this little resting pull back. Now considering how volatile the market was this week or last week, it's it's pretty interesting that um, Ford held up as well as it did. So if we can see those bulls pushing in here, we could have that opportunity to move on through to the upside. Keep an eye on Ford. You might want to keep an eye on Disney as well. Now Disney has been um, pretty volatile um, here recently, but notice that last week we pushed up, we got caught up in the volatility of the market, pulled back, we're running into some price support in here. Now I won't rule out the possibility that this could kind of rest and continue to slide over here toward trend, but keep an eye on Disney. It could be setting up looking pretty decently. You might also want to keep an eye on Snap. Now Snap had a big push up through my alert a um, few days ago, pulled back with the volatility of the market. But notice really no technical damage has been created in, in here and we're still holding on to this little trend. So maybe a little bit more rest is due in here, but watch Snap closely for that upside opportunity. You know, I've been keeping an eye on Intel and I gotta tell you, Intel hasn't been a very attractive chart. Lots of volatility, uh, nasty price action in here. But one thing um, I do wanna make note of. Even though that volatility is pretty high in this chart, let's take a look that we've kind of broken this downtrend in here and we're holding a significant level of price support. We can't see those bears, even with the volatility that we've seen here recently, haven't seen those bears being able to push us down below that level. So keep a close eye on Intel. I think there may be some opportunities here in that chart to watch. Last but not least, I'm going to mention 3M. Now 3M is one that I've been watching for a longer term position. I want to pick up some longer terms. Um, when the market gets a little bit funky and scary, um, I start looking for um, a little bit longer term positions. And by the way, guys, um, I will be doing a free public class for anyone who is interested. Um, on some longer term positions and how I've put in some really substantial profits with the with a couple longer terms as a matter of fact in in one trade at one point in time I was up four thousand four hundred percent and it sounds ridiculous but it's true um, and if you're interested in that Tuesday evening come over to the hit and run candlestick site and you can um, come into our free trading room and I'll be doing a class at 8 p.m. Eastern time for anyone that's interested in that and we'll be going over essentially cover call positions and how I've been able to put these together to um, crank out some nice profits but I'm looking at 3M for a potential trade here longer term, holding that downtrend. And you can see we broke that downtrend and we're holding it as support. Now, if we can get that bullishness to come in here soon, I'll be looking for an opportunity to maybe pick up some 3M here to the upside. Good dividend payer and something to watch right now for that longer term play.
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching. And if there is anything that you would ever like me to cover in videos, whether it be a public um, education video or something in these morning prep videos, just let me know in the comments below. I want to wish you all great success today, great profits, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.